What's going on everybody, it's your boy Cool JC and this is Trout News TV. And before I get started on today's topic, do your boy a favor, hit that subscribe button to keep the boy relevant. But anyway, let me get started on today's topic. Megyn Kelly and the Black Face Controversy. Now recently, Megyn Kelly did a show about offensive Halloween costume. Now, and somehow, some way, blackface got drawn drug into the equation. Now, when I first seen the video of her talking about the offensive Halloween costume, when I first seen that she had a all white panel, that was my first red flag. My second red flag was. Megan Kelly. I know who she is. I I know where she came from. And I got I got a saying, it's hard for a zebra to change its stripes. Now this is the same woman that said Jesus is white. Santa Claus is white. So like I say, I it, it's hard for a, a zebra to change its stripes. This is Megan Kelly. This is who she is. She's a Fox News byproduct. This is who she is. No matter how much NBC want to sit there and try to gloss her up to, to look like she's the voice of all women, yay, you know, this is who Megyn Kelly is. But anyway, she was talking about offensive costumes on her show. show. So she had the American Indian, which is, I agree with that 100%, that is offensive. Uh, she had a cowboy, a nun, some little boy in a Boy Scout uniform with a axe. And then Helen Keller. Really? But then when she showed the white woman, she's a reality TV reality star, dressed up as Donna Ross in blackface, she said she didn't see anything wrong with that. A white person dressed up in blackface. She didn't see anything wrong with that. <laughs> but yet, a cowboy is, is deemed offensive. But blackface, in the history of blackface, in the history of racism in America behind blackface, well, that's, that's, not, that's not offensive at all. See, this is what I'm, this is what I'm talking about right here. Like I say, I hope this be a lesson to all white people who have a TV show or platform. We don't need to have a conversation about race. What we need to have is diversity in your staff, your businesses. Have diversity. Because I'm pretty sure had she had a black person on that panel, none of this shit will be about. None of this shit will come about. And it's funny how they can sit here and tell you that racism doesn't exist when you see it and you go through it. But yet they can sit here and tell you that racism doesn't exist. You're just making stuff up. Blah, blah, this and blah, blah, that. It's amazing, man. Amazing. You know, apologize. No, I didn't know. Come on, come on, Megan Kelly. You down to about 50 years old. And you don't know the history of racism in America, especially when it pertains to blackface? <laughs> Pick up some literature, man. Go look up, go look at Birth of a Nation. The first one. The audacity to say you didn't see anything wrong with it. And that tell you right there that white people are living in their own bubble, man. I declare. But well, anyway, y'all, that's my time. It's your boy Cool JC signing off. Peace.